party to reconnect with its roots. Ramaphosa was visiting various areas in the Eastern Cape ahead of uh, the January 8th statement that he'll be making in East London on Saturday. Joined by fellow top party leaders, he paid homage to one of the ANC's founding fathers, Dr. W.B. Rabosana, and later travelled to the Ngada Great Place in Willow Vale to meet with King Welonke Singakua. Here, the ANC president remembered fallen ANC stalwarts by laying wreaths at their graves, at the graves of traditional leaders uh, that supported the then democratic movement. The ANC is going back to its roots in an attempt to revive its former glory. Living and fallen traditional leaders were among those honored today, despite their development role in communities. King Zolonke believes the ANC has had an indifferent attitude towards chiefs and kings and has urged them to join hands with them. There's a local tourism attraction site, but the road going there is bad. These things can be fixed if the government and the monarchy work together. Access to tertiary education, another issue the king called on the ANC president to address. They were the ones who formed the African National Congress. The ANC, the scenario was formed by Amakos. They contributed to the formation of the ANC. The king asked Ramaphosa to prioritize the release of jailed king Bielekaya Dalinyebo. Ramaphosa has again appealed for unity across all structures of the ANC. We have entered a new phase as the African National Congress. We have entered a phase of unity, a phase of renewal, a phase of rebuilding. The African National Congress sends the Uguti, the ANC, Kumkanwa, Kube ANC, as our seventh leader, Umpagati Wonge, Wala, South Africa. The ANC is clear on its attempts to revive the organization by tapping into the values and lessons of its founding fathers. Simkita Mangonana, SABC News, Willow Vale, Eastern Cape.